because Michael Beloff was then the leading junior dealing with the emerging field of public law, judicial reviews, human rights before the Human Rights Act. Now, he would do cases in the European Court of Human Rights. He would do cases in immigration tribunals. And this was fantastic. It was so stimulating. I remember when I was his pupil, he would bring me into cases. One of his cases was for the now dead Scientologist leader, L. Ron Hubbard. And uh, Mr. Hubbard, very controversial figure, would have these rows with the Home Office. And in this case, Mr. Hubbard wanted to come to England to visit his followers. And the Home Office said, well, Mr. Hubbard must turn up at the Los Angeles consulate to make the application in person. And our instructions were, well, he can't do that. He won't turn up. And the Home Office uh, replied, well, the reason he won't turn up is because we think he's dead. And Michael Beloff thought about <laughs> this and he made the application for a formal decision and it was turned down. No, he's dead. And we went to the High Court. We had a two day hearing before Mr. Justice Harry Wolf, where Michael Beloff's ingenious argument amounted to this We don't accept that he's dead, but if he were, there would be no harm in granting the uh, immigration clearance because he wouldn't be able to use it in any event. <laughs> and Justice Walker's having none of that and the you know, application dismissed and <laughs> we appealed to the Court of Appeal. Uh, but uh, just before the hearing, just before the hearing, it was announced by the Scientologists in LA that sadly Mr. Hubbard had now died and his ashes had been, had been scattered. I mean, this was wonderful stuff. I, really, I, you know, I was enthralled. 